Hey, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, you are in for an enormous treat. Because my first guest tonight is the Emmy and Peabody Award winning host of Last Week Tonight, but he's best known as the voice of Vanity Smurf. Please welcome John Oliver. I like that ass slide across yeah. the desk. It was a little like Michael, Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future, right? Right. C will it, will it or, stand up for a Yes, sir. Ooh! <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was either... You were like either Startsky or Hutch <laughs> sliding across the front of their that, charger. That, that's right. That, I, I think I know exactly how that looked, and it's as awkward as it felt. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I have buffed your desk for you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, welcome back, because I was going to see you. How you been? Thank you. Fine, thanks very much. How are yeah. you? Oh, oh, and now the questioner is the questionee. Uh, no, your reaction was as if I was just I was pinning you down over something. <laughs> Fine, what have you heard? <laughs> That's right. Now, have you heard about this? Because you've been here for a little bit of a while, and I've, and I've been rehearsing before we did the show. Turns out right now, it's almost 6 o'clock uh, when we're recording this, Nancy Pelosi's been on the floor of the house talking for eight hours. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Really? What is... you don't, they don't even know. Well, you don't... I'm, not, I'm not sure deep down you know if or what you're applauding there. <laughs> oh, she talked for seven hours. That yes. sounds like an endurance effort to, to do and to listen to, to some extent. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone wants to hear Nancy Pelosi speak about anything for seven hours. Yes. If she read the Harry Potter audiobook, we'd have no movies right now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, it's it's for the it's for the the dreamers that I... try to get force a dreamer vote in the house right now. Sure. I, I... <laughs> it's not going to work. It's That's not going to work. It's not going to work. It, yes. it, it's not going to work. But it is a valiant public effort. Yes. Now, uh, do you've heard about the president's request for a parade? Yes. Have you not? I I have indeed heard that he wants that. Yeah. It, yeah. I, I will say this: it won't make him happy. And I think it's important yes. that he knows that. Whatever this presidency is about, the search for a lost father's love, <laughs> trying to fill a void with something tangible, that parade is going to go past him. He's going to realise this isn't it either. <laughs> it's not going to happen. That's true. That's Those true. phallic missiles, and he'll think, no, OK, it must be something else then. And that, <laughs> that is when we're really... <laughs> right. Yeah. What if we just fired one of those missiles off? Maybe uh, it's the fact that we didn't maybe use that. the missiles. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's not firing it at someone. Mm -hmm. Surely I can fill this hole with something. Whereas he can't. He's an emotional vacuum and he'll die that way. <laughs> Interesting. If he accepted that, we'd all be happy. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. But you're still giving him a chance. You're still, giving, you're, you're still giving him a chance. You've got to give him a chance. Of course. He's the the president presidency has... changes people, right? Yes. Right? Sure. Right? The second year. The second year really settles people down. Mm -hmm. That's what we know, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bay of Pigs wasn't until the second year. <laughs> now, uh-huh. Okay, now listen. Yeah. England, they have military parades, don't they? Do, are you used to this sort of thing? Military parade? I, we used to. We had military parades across India, but... Uh... <laughs> I don't. Because he saw this, he saw this parade in France, and he that's went, right. "I want one like they have in France." That's right. That's what he took away from his France trip. Oh, their awesome military. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> me, uh, meow. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> again, not to, not yeah. to thump on about history, but anyway, yeah, sure. it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes. um, they could have put up more of a fight, is what I'm saying. I think historically they could have fought back harder. Anyway, yes. they, I'm not here to talk about that. <laughs> yes. But I'm happy to. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, it's, it's, it's an odd thing. For a man who seems incurious about everything, it, mm -hmm. that really stuck in his head, that French parade. He obviously yeah. thought, oh, I want one of those. And well, I think the ceremonial aspect of being president is what he thought the entire job was. I think that's his favorite part of a job that he has otherwise no interest in. Yeah. Right. He thought the president was basically an inflated version of cutting a ribbon at a strip mall. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to watch the royal wedding and think, I want one of those. <laughs> Sorry, Melania, it's time. Wow. Well, yeah. 
Ro speaking of royal wedding, I mean, yeah. you're English, you must be really excited about the royal wedding. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, Come on. I, I, don't, I don't really. You gotta be. Really? Look, he's a Brit, he's marrying he an American yeah. girl. You're British, you married an American woman. You got any tips for him? I would not blame her if she pulled out of this at the last minute. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think you need to have just seen the pilot episode of The Crown to get a basic sense of she might be marrying into a family that could cause her some emotional complications. <laughs> but this generation seems like nice people, right? They're all nice now, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's, there, there are, there are an emotionally stunted group of fundamentally flawed people doing a very silly pseudo job. <laughs> That's what she's marrying into. <laughs> so I, I, I hope she likes it. It's going to be weird for her. I, I, I would not marry into the royal family. I'm, I'm a commoner. I would not be welcome, especially after what I've just said. <laughs> I'm guessing the queen... The queen is probably... Could sitting, you get a knighthood? Could you get a knighthood? I, well, theoretically, I could. Yeah? I, she's probably ripping that up as we speak. There we go. <laughs> Insolent little bastard, you're not coming now, are you? <laughs> When you see other, when you see like, uh, if you see like uh, other like performers or or comedians or something, if you see them get a knighthood, mm -hmm. do you go, what are you doing? What, do you, because, are you uh, accepting it? Yeah. If, if you see, if you see other people who like who who like satirize power and 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 it's a little bit. It's just weird to kneel in front of another adult. <laughs> It's, it's odd. I know that, like, historically, you read and you see people kneeling down and kissing the ring. Yeah. It's a, it's a bit strange. It's, right. it's an odd thing to still have. And I, I like royal weddings as much as I like any... I also like fireworks. You know, it's a spectacle. It's something nice to look at. Put them both together. But, well... <laughs> that could be the most Guy Fawkes-based idea you've ever had. Uh, By the way, kiss the ring means something different in England, doesn't it? I was, I was told that that means something different in England. Yeah. Oh, uh... <laughs> Is that not true? Well, that's... I think, historically, you uh, used to... The Prime Minister, who would have to have tea with yeah. the King uh, every, every week, once yeah. a week, uh, would have to end that tea time uh, by puckering up and kissing the King on his exposed ass. Um, do, uh, do you think and that's got my invitation back? <laughs> that's high tea. That's high tea. <laughs> they, don't, they don't get high. Okay, uh, Trump versus Mueller. Let's talk about that for a second. Yes. Trump says, ah, yeah, I definitely want to talk to Mueller. <laughs> you sure he does? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't doubt that he wants to talk, but he is going to have to physically get through his lawyers first. <laughs> If he talks to him, he's going he's to have to eat his way through their hands over his mouth. Yeah. Because they will tackle him to the floor before he opens his mouth in front yeah. of him. He would perjure himself before he'd finished his name. No. <laughs> I, th I think he would do a good job, and I think he should do it. If I can just co-sign on that, I know, I know I joke around a lot, Mr. President, but I... Also think you would do an excellent job, <laughs> and I, I too think you should do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Okay, we got to take a little bit of a break, uh, but don't go anyway. We're right back with more. John Oliver.